All right, we're gonna start this project with two bowls. I got both of my bowls from the Dollar Tree. So essentially what we're trying to do is we're gonna glue them base to base. So I'm gonna do this with two things. I'm gonna be using E6000 and I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun for this. And I'm using Gorilla Glue Sticks because they just tend to hold um, things pretty well. So I'm gonna start with my E6000. I'm just gonna go around. Okay, so we got that. And then I'm gonna just add my hot glue because the hot glue will act a little faster than the E6000. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this on top. All right, so now that our bowls have cured um, and they're sticking together just fine, we are going to move on to our next step, which will be with paint. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using um, chalk paint. I'm using a Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. I'm also using a little bit of um, honeycomb folk art craft paint and baking soda. So I'm, I actually got my brush from the Dollar Tree. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the paint in here. I'm gonna be doing, I wanna add a little touch of warmth to it. That's where this honeycomb, this honeycomb uh, paint is coming from. Putting a little bit in there. And we're gonna first mix that up. All right, so now it's a little warmer. We're gonna be putting some baking soda in here. In my experience, I don't really have an exact ratio of baking soda. I just put in a little bit that I, that way if I need to add more, I can. We just wanna add a little bit of texture to the paint. So now that we have our paint mixed, we're gonna apply it to the bowl. Now I wanna paint it in a horizontal fashion because we kinda want this to look like pottery, like it's made from clay. So we're just gonna go around. Make sure your surface is prepped too, so it's uh, you're okay with getting paint on it. Essentially the goal here is to add enough paint so that we cover every piece of the surface of the bowls. So I'll be doing the inside of each bowl as well. And when we are finished with that step and we let it dry, we will move on to our next step. All right, so we're gonna be using a stone colored Rust-Oleum textured finish paint. You can see this kind of finish on the cap is essentially the color we're going with. I'm gonna be adding this lightly to my bowl, uh, my bowls. Um, I also have one in pebbles, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of both. All right, so now that this is dry and has my stone spray paint on it as well to add that texture, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be grabbing about four of these candles from Dollar Tree. And what we're gonna do next is we are going to melt them down. So let's go ahead and move on to that step. So after I melted my candles um, and I took the wicks out and I placed them where I wanted, I'm using skewers to secure it in place, I'm going to be adding my melted wax into this. And I'm actually gonna be using um, a scented lavender because I really want to give this a nice um, a nice scent to it. Be very careful with hot wax. Be very careful. So I have my old candle pillar holder and I'm going to be putting a lot of scent in here. I am going to pour it slowly. I'm going to do the same thing with the other two that I have. I have a backup one just in case, but I don't think I'm gonna need more than uh, three total. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add my lavender. I'm gonna pour it in. I'm gonna try and pull these tight a little bit. I don't want them to be too close, but I want them to be sticking to the bottom. So having a skewer, a backup skewer is really helpful for this. Okay, so last one, I think. Maybe I'll need to do a little bit in, uh, more. Pouring it in. I think I'm gonna pour a little bit more of this last one in there. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna wait for this to dry so we can move on to the next step. So we'll be back. All right, now that we've let my wax dry, we are gonna take uh, our wick and we're gonna cut it a little bit shorter. And can I just say how good these smell with the scents that I added? So now that my candle is finished, we are gonna go see it all lit up uh, for our final after. And here is the finished product out on my screened in porch. I love how this turned out. I love the smell of the lavender 
and it really does add a sense of ambience to my outdoor living space. I hope you feel inspired to try this project. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk, and I will see you next time. All right, so we're gonna get started with, uh, I believe I have five of these uh, bowls. You can find them in the party section at Dollar Tree. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna be taking my hot glue gun and I'm also gonna be taking some super glue um, and I'm going to be attaching these bowls um, face to face. So we'll start with the super glue. And as that sits for a moment, I am gonna go back in with my hot glue. Before we recreate this same idea, what I want to do is I want to give this a little bit of weight. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using plaster of Paris. Essentially the way you're going to mix this is you're going to do two parts plaster of Paris, one part cold water. So we're just going to stir it until it's kind of like a smooth texture. And then we're going to let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so this is actually still drying and I realized that I can actually glue this and then let it finish drying with the other bowl on top of it. So we are going to take our hot glue and go around the edge. Okay, and we're gonna flip this over. All right, so we are going to allow this to finish uh, setting. It's gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes to set and then we're gonna finish this project. All right, for this step, I'm gonna be using this Rustic Brown Wood Effects Water-Based Stain by Bear. Um, it is in the color Rustic Brown, and it is water-based, so you don't necessarily need to wear gloves for this part, it's optional. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up, and you'll notice that I also have a foam brush, and I also have this wood plaque I got at Dollar Tree in the $5 section. Not all Dollar Trees have this, you have to make sure um, that the one you're going to does, um, otherwise you won't be able to find this. But it's just a wood plaque, uh, and I'm gonna be staining the whole thing. And we're just gonna go with the wood grain across. Since this is a raw wood finish, um, really no sanding is necessary since it's already natural. Um, but if you are working with something that maybe you need to sand down first, that is also fine. Okay, so we're gonna wait just a couple more minutes and then we're gonna wipe it away. Okay, now we're back. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna take a rag that I've been using and I'm just gonna wipe it away. All right, so we're gonna do one more coat just like we did this one and then we will do this side as well. And when we are back, we will move on to the next step. Okay, so now this part is pretty dry. The plaster of Paris is in there, it's not moving. Um, and it is ready to be covered um, with our other bowls. So we're gonna take this set that we created. We're gonna set it on top. And I'm gonna do super glue and then I'm gonna do some of my Gorilla Hot Glue again. So taking my super glue, going around, I'm gonna flip this over, make sure it sticks like right in the middle. All right, so now I'm gonna be using some vinyl spackle. So this uh, spackle is already a white color. We are going to start adding spackle to the surface. And it doesn't need to be super neat. You can make it a little messy. Just add a lot of texture. So I'm putting a lot on and then I'm kind of letting it kind of drop down but also trying to even it out as I go. So we're just gonna keep going all the way around until this whole um, stack of, of bowls is covered and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, for my next step, I'm gonna be taking my last bowl and we're gonna be gluing it to the top, especially now that this part is dried and we are going to finish bringing this spackle, this textured finish to this layer as well. So I'm gonna put my super glue on first and then we're gonna take my glue gun with my Gorilla Glue sticks to add a lot of glue to make it stick. I'm 
should go and take some on this side too. And then we'll move on to the next step. For this last step, I'm going to continue to use the vinyl spackle that I was using earlier for this part, but I am almost out of it, so I will be switching over to a dry dex spackle. It actually looks pink when it's wet and it dries white. So I know that it won't look bad once it's drying, but if it looks different, that's why. <laughs> but I have a decent amount of spackle left, and this is also a great opportunity to go back over the spots that maybe I didn't get completely. So we're gonna keep covering this. So when I'm done with this step and we let it dry, we will be back. So for our final step, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be taking our wood round piece and we are going to be attaching it to the top of this table. And we're gonna do it one of two ways. I'm gonna be using some E6000 and I'm also gonna be using my glue gun with my Gorilla Glue sticks um, to make this happen. So I'm gonna start with my E6000 because E6000 definitely, once it's cured completely, it will have a really powerful hold. Okay, so we are going to flip this over. Careful, don't burn yourself. And I wanna place it pretty quickly before it dries. Here is the finished product. I'm very happy with how this side table turned out. I spent less than $15 on this, sourcing everything from the Dollar Tree minus the glue. I think it looks great in my living room as a little side table for guests when they're over to hold on to beverages or just decor. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk and I will see you in the next one.